Welcome to Progressive Automation's YouTube channel. Today we're talking about our PA28 and our PA29 control boxes. These two are essentially the same control boxes. They control two actuators individually. Uh, the difference between them is the PA28 is a DC version, so it would work with like your car battery or any sort of 12 volt battery source. And uh, the PA29 is an AC version, which means it plugs into your household outlet. Uh, the other main difference is this is a 30 amp control box and this is a 15 amp control box. Uh, what I've already done is set up our uh, PA29, I've already plugged it into the outlet and I have two actuators attached to it. You can see the remote has six buttons, up, down and stop for each set of actuators. So I'll just show you an example of how they work. So you are, uh, how it's set up right now is if you hit the up button on either of the uh, actuators, it'll fully extend and the actuator cuts the power off when it hits its limit switch. Same thing going down. If you want it to stop anywhere in between, you would hit the stop button. What I'm going to show you, which is also very popular for both these control boxes, it's the same sort of setup, is um, if you want to make it momentary, which means you would hold down on the up or down button as long as you want the actuator to extend. When you let go of the button, the power cuts off. So I've already unscrewed the top here gives you access underneath. I'm just going to take the power out. If you look over here, you'll see four prongs. Uh, they're labeled CN2 and CN1. What you would do is you'll have one of these jumper switches inside just connected to one of the pins. What you need to do is connect it across CN1 horizontally. So I'll just put it on right now and let you take a look at that. So you can see how it's horizontally connected across CN1. I'm going to reapply the power. Put the cover back on. And now your uh, actuator, your control box is set to momentary. So if I hit the up button, it extends. If I let go, it stops. Same thing going with the other one. So what it also does is it disables the stop button when you put it to no momentary. Now this is the exact same way it works on the PA28 control box. If you have any questions about either of these control boxes, please visit our website at www.progressiveautomations.com or give us a call at 800-676-6123.